Welcome to Mac Connections, the podcast. Keeping connected and looking after yourselves is so important during these changing times. We trust the following conversation will provide some helpful guidance. If you have any concerns, please get in contact with staff in the Year 12 team. We want to be able to provide all the support we can. Our patron, St Mary of the Cross MacKillop, wrote in 1875, May God bless and keep you and give you courage. We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast is recorded. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present, and to the Aboriginal elders emerging. Episode 17, Personal Leadership. Here is your host, Director of Wellbeing, Mr. Andrew Exton. Welcome to another edition of the Mac Connections podcast. And as we do every week, we welcome Joe Parker from Hearts Parks back to the podcast. Joe, thanks for coming along. Today, I'm going to talk about a really interesting topic, I think, and that's personal leadership. And it seems to me that it's maybe never been more important to be able to understand what that is and how you might go about um, providing leadership for yourself because we live in a time perhaps where in some circumstances, we're looking outside for leadership and maybe we're not always feeling like we're getting the, the things back that, I don't know, um, make us feel better about ourselves, make us feel confident, make us feel um, more secure. So um, first of all, the concept of personal leadership, how would you define it and why do you see it as being so important? Thanks for having me back again. And I'm so pleased we're talking about this right now. I think in the world where it's it's often that we'll look outside of ourselves for leadership and, and even just see leadership as something that exists outside of ourselves. What you mentioned there around us being in a situation where we are not able to access leadership outside of ourselves the way we have in the past is so true. And that's where personal leadership really comes in. For me, Personal leadership isn't so much about how we only influence others or lead others or coerce others to behave in a certain way. It's more about, for us personally, what we are in the world and also what we stand for and how we show up. And the reason personal leadership is more important now than ever, I feel, is because we don't necessarily either have access to leaders in the traditional sense as we're going through this time or in a sense that we have before, but also there's a lot of information circling out in the world right now. And even just knowing what parts of that information feel true and correct for us and what parts don't and when decisions are being made, whether they feel like they're right for us or they don't, even that landscape has shifted a lot. So the more we can lean into personal leadership and feel really strong and secure within our own leadership in our lives, the more we can then feel secure in the way that we're showing up and decisions that we're making for ourselves too. So Joe, I think for a lot of our students, they make decisions very early on whether they see themselves as being leaders or not. And then they equate qualities like, I don't really like speaking in public or I don't like doing those for those reasons that they choose to not necessarily go into that formal leadership. So we're not talking about formal leadership in the sense of leading others in an overt way. We're talking about you providing yourself with things that are going to enable you to be better in the circumstances that we're currently finding ourselves in. So in a practical sense, how can young people gain a perception of personal leadership and what things can they do to enhance their personal leadership to overcome these times where they're not necessarily able to look at others to provide that for them? Mm. I just want to backtrack to the start of that question there around the notion of who is and isn't leaders. All of us have leadership roles in our lives, whether we see them as formal or not. All of us have a role and even at the moment a title that we're wearing in some description in our life, be it a son or a daughter or a sister or a friend or an employee or or many other things that mean that we're showing up in the world in a way where our behaviours have influence over others. And that's the definition of leadership at its truest form. So for anyone who might be listening and seeing themselves as someone who isn't, a leader, please know that you're already walking with leadership and have been for a really long time. 
Regarding our own personal leadership, I think a really good place to start is just asking ourselves a few key questions. The first one is, what do I stand for? So what matters to me? And another way to phrase this is, what are my values? What's important to me? Because without knowing what it is that we stand for, it's hard to even know how to act or how to form behaviours that align with that. Another good question in this is, what am I willing to speak up for? So what's happening in my life or in the world or for me or to me that makes me want to raise my voice and have a conversation about it? And the third one is around this idea of influence and how, who do I want to be in the world right now? How do I want to show up? With the answers to those questions, we can then start to go, well, what is it that I can personally do that's in my control to help me align with those more? I think as a student right now, though, one of the best and easiest places to begin with when we're thinking about leadership is the idea of usable hours. There are so many hours in the day, but a lot of them get taken up with things that are outside of our control, being in class or working on assignments or showing up for work or other bits and pieces that we're working on. When we are talking about personal leadership, one of the most accessible points is just looking at how many hours are in our day and then how many of those are actually usable hours, hours where we can define what we do and then tapping into ways that we can align more with the answers to those previous questions in the time that we have available to us. And Joe, would I be right in saying that at this time, personal leadership is maybe about participating in the conversation at times now where there are so many things that aren't the way that we've expected them to be and won't be the way that we expect them to be. I think about the way we're preparing for exams, the way that we'll celebrate the end of the year, the way that we'll acknowledge achievement. So many of those things need to be different. And personal leadership is as much about students participating in that discussion and offering their opinions about what should happen rather than maybe accepting that it's just going to be the same as what it always has been or somebody else will make that decision for me because they know better than what I do. Whereas in all honesty, no matter how much experience you have or how much knowledge that you have right now, everyone's pretty much at the same level as far as being able to determine what's the best thing to do or how we should do this or how we should do that. Would that be fair fair to say? Absolutely. Absolutely. I always think about personal leadership when it comes to conversation is number one, being willing to take up space and actually step into conversations when it might be easier to step out of them. And then number two, holding space for other people and inviting other people into the conversations because just as each of us have a voice that's really important to be heard there are also so many people around us that potentially for a lot of different factors don't have their ability to have their voices heard as easily as we do and so just as much as it's stepping into conversation and having a say it's also about providing opportunities and supporting other people to get involved too we need new ideas Right now, we need more conversations and bigger conversations than we've ever had before because, like you said, no one really knows a clear way forward from this. And to a large extent, a lot of us are kind of making it up as we go. And so the more voices around the table and the more influence from students in particular around every issue, not just the ones that are in schools, the better. So with that, thank you again, Joe, for coming on today and we'll um, hear from you again next week. And I think if I was to finish off, when you get asked the question, what do you think or what are your, what's your opinion, we want our students to be active participants in, asking, in answering those questions, not because it's token, but because we genuinely want to know. And I, I think at, at times like this where we could notionally say so much has been taken away from, from us, if we're all involved in the solutions that come after we're all going to be better off for the experience in some way. So with that, Joe, thank you again. And um, we'll talk to you again next week with another topic, which I'm not sure what it'll be, but I'm sure it'll be (laughs) worthwhile and interesting. So thank you again. And we'll talk to you soon. That brings us to the end of this episode. A reminder, if you do need any help, if you have any queries, questions or concerns, please contact a member of the U12 team. Be kind and look after yourself.